Hello again and welcome to another video. This is our January 2022 model. Toyota Hilux 2.8 D4D automatic. It's the Invincible X top of the range, uh, double cab, finished in Takuma gray metallic with just 8,591 miles. Uh, one owner from new. And this vehicle is a margin car, so the VAT was paid and there's no additional VAT on top and none to be claimed back. Now, the car has already had its first Toyota service slightly early, which I'll show you when we step into the car. Now, as with all the vehicles here, the whole car has been machine polished to bring it up as good as new, or if not better than new in some cases. We get a really nice finish on the bodywork of these vehicles. I know some of these get used, obviously, or a lot of them get used for business purposes, etc. But there are a lot of people out there that like to keep them nice and bright and clean and everything. So we fitted a few optional extras, one being the genuine Toyota bodyguard, uh, bonnet guard, sorry, not bodyguard, you don't need a bodyguard. And so, so we've got the bonnet guard on there. We've also fitted the Toyota wind deflectors on the side which are really nice because they sit nice and flush. They join virtually in the middle of a very small gap, unlike the older version, which had a much bigger gap and were a bit uglier. As you can see, they look really good. Now, if I bring you up onto the bonnet, there are no nasty marks. There are no chips or nothing that I can see on there. I think there might, was that? There's one tiny little chip that we've touched in and I'm zoomed in quite close on that, but it's, it sort of disappears as you come out. So one tiny little chip there and nothing on the rest of the bonnet. I'm just having a good look around. Nope, all clear up there. All of the light lenses, um, not pitted badly or anything. This is a very, very sharp example. We've got the front parking sensors, LED fog lights, all of the trim on the front there in really nice condition. And um, we've got the 360 cameras, of course, on these later ones. And that badge also acts as, I think, one of the radars for either the cruise control or one of the features on the car. And if I come down nice and low, you can see all up underneath, it's never been off-road, this car. The gentleman that we purchased the car from um, basically um, did construction engineering and he said all I've ever done really is put my boots and my briefcase in the back to go and uh, have a look on sites and uh, it's not had any hard use at all and you'll see that when we go inside the vehicle. Now we've also got the side steps they're not scuffed at all if I come down low and just bring you all the way along there's no scratches on there we look down the side of the vehicle, there are no ding dents, no scratches, no chips. I will show you this view from the back as well, because there's a lot of reflection. Let's just come around and show you this side, actually, while we're here. So if I come down nice and slowly, you can see the reflection of the panels as I come down. And the wheels are absolutely mint, no damage on the wheels. And again, if I zoom in, you see the side steps, they haven't been grazed or anything. All of the black plastic trims, or graphite, I should say, on these, they're sort of color coded in a graphite color like the wing mirrors. Now what I'll do now, the windscreen hasn't got any damage on it either. If we come up onto the roof, no damage on there. It's not had anything on the roof at all. I'm gonna show you the front wheel. Not any marks on there. Running on the Bridgestone jewelers that they come with. Lots of tread. In fact, the tires have still got the colored lines in amongst the tread pattern. No damage around the filler cap. 
Now we've got the Toyota hard back, or hard top I should say, on the back of the vehicle. Just wanna give you the side profile, there we go. It's a really nice looking vehicle. Now this uh, Toyota hard top has the side openers, which, let me get this in focus. There are two, doesn't like the reflection, does it? Two handles which we can turn, they lock obviously, and they come up on these little dampers. So you can basically reach inside the vehicle to get something out at the cab end. So you can reach inside like so, sliding window at the front. We've actually taken the cab, loosened it off and um, cleaned all the glass there. And then what we've done, we've uh, life shined the windows so that the water will run off the windows a lot cleaner. We've got rear parking sensors. Obviously all of the rear glass is tinted. Now these Toyota hardtops are quite expensive. I think between like three, three and a half thousand pounds, a lot of them. So it's a really nice added bonus to have on the car. If we look at the top of the bumper, you can see no damage on there at all. And the tailgate, these are all the areas I know where to check because quite often there are scratches and stuff, but look at that, it's absolutely lovely. And then we can open up the back like so. I'll just show you, this is really just like new. But there's no scuffs, there's no scratches. It's just like the day it was fitted. And then you can see the interior. It hasn't got, um, on this particular top, it's like, um, it doesn't have any carpet in there or any vinyl that they quite often get ripped. So it'll all stay nice and clean. It's easy to wipe out as well. And then we've got the Linex. So all of the bed liner is all covered in the Linex, which is like that really durable uh, plastic uh, or rubberized sort of paint which goes directly onto the, to the bed. So unlike the plastic covers, there's no gap. The stones can't get underneath it. It's much better protection. You won't get any rust on the, on the bed or the floor. Now, usually we'd fit um, a lift and damper kit, but uh, they currently don't have any left in stock, the ones that we fit. But if you um, contact me, if we can get one in time, we will fit that. And what that will do, will allow the tailgate to drop down smoothly using one of those little dampers that gets fitted here. And then there's a torsion rod that fits in here. If you look at one of the other videos of the Toyotas that we've had in the past, like I say, we'll be happy to fit that um, free of charge if we can get one in time or we could always send it on to you. Uh, they're not too bad to fit. We can always run through that with you. And then the top of that tailgate, now that it's down, you can see there's no damage on there either. So really nice. So let's just lift that back up. And then we can pull this down. Now on this uh, particular hardtop, these are locked separately with a key and the tailgate. We've got all four keys and the sides windows can all be locked and secured. Now, if you do, they, some of them do come with like a central locking for the top section, but what we've noticed is if you do want to slide the, the, the top cab back to clean the windows at all, you haven't got to worry about any wiring, which is quite nice, because the wirings tend to have quite a short uh, loom on them. Now, if you want a, a tow bar fitted, we've um, just fitted one on another vehicle, I think it was a nine pin, uh, it's approximately 550 pounds, which is a really good price. Uh, it was a tow truss tow bar, and that included VAT. 
I think we got quoted about £640 in most places, but we were able to do that a bit cheaper for our customers. And then the rear wheel. In fact, let's show you the front wheel as well. Like I say, all immaculate. And if I come back out, I had a good look round the vehicle before I did the video. There were no marks to point out on the paintwork or any of the trim. There's nothing on the wing mirrors. Oh, there was one little chip actually. Tell it like I did see, and we've touched it in. There was a, a little, let's get this in focus. Sorry about this. There's a little chip here that we've touched in. And just of course on there, something was obviously just between there, but we've touched that in with the right uh, paint and lacquer and it's on the plastic, so it's never, never going to be a problem. But that's all been done. So that was the only little bit that we found on the car, apart from that little chip on the front of uh, the bonnet that I pointed out earlier. Okay, so let's go inside. Bear with me, I'll bring you round. Now, before we start, so this is the, the service intervals are 10,000 miles or 12 months. Now this car was registered January, so it had its first service um, a few weeks early and it had only done 6,971 miles, done by Toyota. So that's all uh, up to date. Now, if you keep the service history up with Toyota, they'll warrant the car up to 10 years. So. After 2021, it was a three-year warranty, not a five, but extendable up to 10 years. So as long as you keep the service history with Toyota, and they're usually pretty fair with their servicing, then uh, this vehicle will go 100,000 miles or 10 years. So that's nice to know how much they believe in their product. I'm just showing you this door card. Again, you'll notice there's no scratches in this light with the camera. I can tell you if there was a, a little mark on there, you'd see it because the reflection shows very differently on camera. So nothing on there. All the side plates are in really good condition. You get some tiny little scuffing on the edge that that's what they're there for basically. And they're easy replaceable. We've got a full set of rubber Toyota mats in the vehicle. You've got an additional cubby hole up here. I'll show you the leather seats. Not a scratch or a mark. All the headlining, beautiful condition. Just show you the seat from this side. Center armrest, all around the gear lever, etc. Look at the finish in there, there's no scratching. And on the later version, they changed the climate control. So this is a dual climate control. So that was one of the other changes as well as the 360 cameras. Because we've all additionally got cameras up under these wing mirrors, you see, to give you a bird's eye view when you're parking of the vehicle. Let's take a look in the back. Again, the door card, unmarked. All the way down and if we look at those shots let's just keep this in focus so much to do when you're doing a video remembering what you're talking about trying to keep the camera in focus or the phone as I'm using but it does a pretty good job and then these rear seats it's a bit hard for me to on my own but these are split 60 40 and you can lift these base, in fact, I might be able to show you, this base comes up and then with that little tag there, you can hook that round the headrest pillars and it will hold it up so you can fit stuff in the back of the vehicle. And the other one comes up separately so you can do one side or the other, the wider side or the narrower side, if you want to call it that, the 60% bit or the 40% bit. <laughs> Centre armrest as well with cup holders, let's get that back in focus. All nice and clean, no damage. 
And if I just show you all the plastic trim in here and the back of the seats, no scratches or anything. Okay, now we've done all the filler cap, we've done around there, so that's uh, move around to the driver's side rear. Start with the door card on this side. Again, no damage to point out. Door shuts. The light's different on this side because the uh, skylight's above with the sun going down. It's always a bit more orangey. Whoops, sorry. And again, back of the seat, no damage. All the mats, and all underneath the mats, all the carpets are absolutely fine. They're in really nice condition. They've not, they're not dirty or marked or worn or anything like that. Just to show you. Okay, so driver door and all of the door edges all the way around the vehicle are like so. There's no um, chips on the edges of the doors. There's no scuffing around the mirrors. Sorry, around the handle. Now, it's keyless entry, so you can lock the vehicle. You didn't see it, but the lights flashed on the wing mirrors. And unlock it as well. Just turn the lights off. Driver's door card. Let's just get this back in focus. Like I say, the lights coming through the skylights over here. There we go. No marks on there. Nothing on the edge. Let's just get that back in front. There we go. And then you've got, uh, they're all lit under the doors. And then if I can get it. You've got the electric folding mirrors as well. And we've got the premium JBL sound system in the Invincible X, which has got a, a lot of depth to it. We've got additional speakers up here. Just come in. So you can drive a pickup and still listen to your music with a good system rather than it sounding quite hollow. Now the driver's seat also is fully electric. The passenger side is manual. But this one's got the high backwards and forwards and the recliner. If we just look at this seat, all the perforated leather, all in really nice condition again. In fact, while we're here, it's probably easier to lift this up. And there's, um, I can't remember how many watts, but there's an additional plug in there. You might be able to see that 100 watt. Close that down. Now we've got some, um, on these later ones, there's some additional buttons down here. So top left, we've got power heat. That'll pre-heat the um, car. will basically warm up the car a lot quicker. It brings the idle up to bring your fan um, up to temperature, etc. We've then got the parking sensor button, and then we've got the camera view for 360. And then the bottom right is for when the vehicle is doing a DPF clean, which it shows you on the dash, which is really um, clever because a lot of cars don't. It shows you like a graph on the, on the dash. If it hasn't completed the DPF clean by the time you've finished your journey, let me get this back you can then press that button and it will bring the um, idle speed of the engine up and, and complete the uh, DPF clean. And then we've got the gear shift there. For some reason, it doesn't want to go into focus without me touching the screen. There we go. So you've got your drive and sport mode for the six speed auto. And then we've got the power and economy button which make quite a lot of difference. Let me just jump in. I'm gonna grab the key out of my pocket. And we'll shut that door. You always have to close these doors quite firmly because they seal so tightly with the rubbers around the outside of the door aperture. Here we go. Right, 8,591 miles. Let me just turn this sound down before. Okay, now using the buttons on this side of the steering wheel, 
please follow the arrow on the display when leaving. Please turn left and then immediately turn left. Wow. So this is a Let's turn the, video, the radio down. Now, if we go back to the centre, sorry about that. Right at the top, that's yours, um, that shows you the speed of the road you're on. Now, going down through this list, you've got all your eco settings. And also, this will show where the wheels are pointing, which, if you're off-road, might be quite handy if you're in a rut somewhere. And then that'll go back to speed. Show you add blue. And back to the beginning. If you then move over to the right, we've got the navigation settings. Then we've got the music. I'm trying to wonder why. Let me just check the screen. Sorry about that. I just want to check the lens. It's quite hard to get a focus today. And then we've got uh, a display of what features you've got on, like uh, lane assist. And then if we go, let me come in a bit closer, it might work. Maybe it's just where it's so bright today. Oh, sorry, settings. If we go into settings, lane departure. Let me turn the, uh... oh, I can't do it, it's electronic. We've got the lane departure setting. Now your assist is on, let's turn it off actually. That will basically, if you go to, if you go over the white lines on the motorway, for example, and you haven't indicated, it will actually pull you back into the lane. Um, it will move the steering wheel and pull you back into the lane. So if you were driving tired, uh, you can turn on your assist and um, it will make sure you stay in the lane unless you indicate and then it won't come into play. We've then got the sensitivity for it. And then we've got sway warning, etc., and sensitivity we come back out of there this is your sort of collision control and you can set the sensitivity here for how close and then this is the um, cruise control with the radar system I forgot how it's uh, worked out with those initials yeah but if we look down here and turn cruise on I'm really sorry about the, the display. I think it's just that display. Um, and then on the steering wheel, just here, this radar button here. Get back in focus. Oh, I'm having a right nightmare of a day. <laughs> there you go. So you can set how close or how far you want to be behind the car in front with the cruise control and it will hold you at that. And then the other one is the lane departure that I mentioned. And then on this side of the steering wheel, we've got volume control, voice control, etc. Now the home screen, whoa, that's come back out for the sat nav. So let's just go into map and we can also go into this one here for different displays, north orientated. Um, and then what I was gonna do was change if I can remember where to find it the color because it's too bright there we go that's better let's come out of there let's just go into setup or something now there will be Apple CarPlay and Android Auto on this vehicle as well and you can collect up I'm sorry about the focus it keeps dropping out but basically, all the controls are there for the uh, map, etc. And then down here, if we press this on auto, you can see that we've got a dual control. God, the light is really not in my favour today. And then the fan speed is in the centre. On the older version, it was just a single t uh, display for temperature. So just a single zone, rather. And um, And this would do the fan over here, but it's now... A different setup down here we've got um, heated seats just here uh, stop start you can turn off um, that's uh, hill descent and then you've got the four wheel drive lock and over here you've got the four wheel drive high four low four etc and then you've got a USB and an auxiliary just down there all the cup holders 
and that section is really nice and clean. Just pop the key in there. Now if we come up onto the dash once more, I'm just going to turn that cruise control off. Now, there's a room park, so um, when you're driving, basically if you're driving economic, there's a little eco sign down here, but if you want to hold the vehicle in eco, by pressing the eco button, you can see that brings it up on there, and then if you press the power button, that puts it into power. Now when you put it into power, it's surprising how much difference it makes. It really surges forward, the vehicle. Anyway, let's have a, a little look round. I'm really disappointed in how bright it is because it's very hard to show just how nice the vehicle is. But we're going to take some pictures and I'll, I'll hopefully capture just how nice the interior is with the pictures. I'm going to toot the horn. Actually, what I'll do first, I'll show you. I think I've got the door open. He's just going to pop the bonnet for me but I wanted to show we've got different views of the cameras you can change the markings so you can see all the way around the car you see the front now that's looking at the back and there is one looking at the front is it when I press bear with me that's the back ah oh, I know what it is when you put the vehicle into drive it will actually show you out the front of the vehicle as well. There we go. So, Darius is just going to lift the bonnet for me. I'm just going to turn the vehicle off. Thank you, Darius. So I just wanted to show you under the bonnet. There we go. Maybe I need to move a little bit slower. So around about, I think it's 208 brake horsepower or 208 PS. Um, the automatics have uh, a little bit more um, torque because they're using the automatic gearbox and not having to use the, a clutch with a manual. So you get a bit more pulling power with the autos. Not that the manual wouldn't pull. It just gives you that little bit more because of the setup on the vehicle. I just want to show you under there as well. As you can see, we've got the sun going down. It's that time of the day and it plays havoc with the light conditions there we go okay so let's uh close that down just drop that into place is always the best thing to do you don't want to be pushing on the bonnet afterwards because you could end up denting the bonnet saying that they weigh a ton these toyota bonnets okay so there we have it our toyota hilux invincible x Thank you for taking the time to watch the video. And uh, if you have any questions about the vehicle, please give us a call. Uh, the contact details are just underneath the YouTube ad or in our advert. There's some links there as well. So take care. Thank you for watching and I'll speak to you soon. Bye now.